he's got some good wide receivers with him on this blue squad. And he looks to throw for the second time over the middle, complete for a first down. That's Tony, who played high school at quarterback. So they'll bring Powell out for a 45-yard field goal attempt. Florida will have a new kicker this year. A couple of guys will get reps today. All right, Cole, thanks. And Dan Mullen made the point talking with us yesterday. That quarterbacks of Florida are simply judged differently, and the running backs are judged to a high standard as well. That's what Michael P. Ryan. You're the only one on that field. Everybody's staring at you. Definitely more pressure. And he leaves it wide right with a little bit of breeze pushing it that way. Blue has a 3-0 lead on Orange after a miss from 46. A little bit of a run play here, double team play action. And they get to the quarterback for the first time. Zuniga, the junior from Marietta, Georgia, credited with the sack. Got to do to get him confident in what's going on. Coach, you mentioned yesterday when we talked that you want a quarterback that can laugh off some of the big time situations and Trask pressure, they get a hand on him, and he gets it away. This is Kadarius Tony at midfield. What sticks out in your mind when you were a player here at Florida as Dan Mullen calling plays for you? Uh, for me, I, I just always remember him being tough, but but tough in a, in a player's coach way. Um, hey, I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael P. right in the game. Here's Felipe Franks taking off on a run. They're going to give him credit for an eluded tackle. And Frank showing off his wheels, touchdown outside the 10 before he goes Superman. Give it to him. And he <laughs> launches it into the seats. A 60-yard run by Felipe Franks. Hey, Coach, you want some confidence? There it is. Josh's <laughs> older brother, Frankie, was on the 2008 uh -oh. National Championship team. we got a wide open receiver. Guys got to go perform and guys got to go play. Uh, so to get to see them come out here and go play and have an even matchup. And so they just drafted, and it's somewhat of a pretty even matchup between the two teams. Now Trask at quarterback. And Trask will hand it off to Jordan Scarlett, and he's got an opportunity. Scarlett all the way into Orange territory and a big-time run. Second and three now for Kyle Trask and the blue offense. And a bullet complete for a first down and a big-time tackle of Rick Wells. Trask hands it off to Scarlett, and he will bounce his way into the end zone. Felipe Franks, the quarterback, started eight games last year, uncorks one deep. He's got a special guest. This is going to be a walk-in touchdown. That is a 60-yard orange touchdown pass. And they were just truly and genuinely excited about where the program is right now. Spin move by Clement, and then he gets stuck at the 45-yard line. Tom, he's going to bring the heat. You see some of it coming off the edge right there. Is not let these quarterbacks just get out there and run. He hasn't called as a great ball right there at his own pace and not too early. Scarlett hit behind the line and is able to get over the line for another touchdown run. Sean Joseph couldn't bring him down before the goal line. Here we go. What is this celebration? We're playing Duck, Duck, Duck Goose. Duck, Goose. <laughs> and Scarlett will get back before Lewis can get him. We came up with yesterday in our coaches' meetings is kind of like if you well, look at this one, complete to R.J. Raymond, the tight end slash H-back. He wasn't down, and he will get up and take it into the end zone and launch it into the second deck. You to throw him a bone every now and then. Build his confidence, make him feel loved. Then he'll be that dog that you always wanted. How much depth they'll have over the course of the season. This is third and long now. And Trask will be brought down. That's Antonius Clayton. Kind of new to Martez Ivy, is it not? I mean, it won that long ago that he was at guard. That's a bullet caught over the middle by Kimari Gamble. I mean, he's a young man whose wingspan can really keep edge defenders from getting to your quarterback. He's going to protect that blind side. He's got to come a long way with his flexibility and with his feet. If this offense would look more like it did under Nick Fitzgerald. Wide open. It's Gamble again. It was a simple two-mile run through campus. Simple except for this. And this one's the first turnover of the game, picked off by Jaheim Lawrence. 
Cole, we don't want you to transfer. You better step your game up. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure, and Jake Allen steps away from it. And you look at all those championship teams, those national champions. That means a lot. That's what that's what it's that's what it is to be a Gator. That's the Gator standard. And to have all these people here and have the opportunity, you know. Looks like it's going to be an orange victory with Nick Sproles, number 42, taking the last few snaps at the quarterback position for the blue team. And he completes one over the middle. And that one's going to go for a big gain and a touchdown. Complete to Andres Saldivar. Now that is a good way to put a bow on this one. Started slow, offense looked great late. Yeah, they came to sometimes get out here in front of a crowd and it takes a while to get the juices flowing. We saw what we needed to out of this offense.